Hi, my name is Darshan from Riviera Resort Petit Club. In this video, I'm going to explain how we actually produce uh, charcoal by by burning our um, organic material in this special kiln. It is the uh, first four photos uh, uh, shown here. So when we burn uh, this organic material in this kiln, all the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide get trapped in the material itself and uh, become charcoal. That's the kiln we will use to burn all this organic material. Most of this thing will be burnt today. We'll see how much we can reduce. To just to explain this uh, kiln, what happens is uh, we will when the, when we put the material inside and we start burning, uh, the the outer outer shield will get um, hot and it will push the air up. Since it is burning and it needs oxygen, it will pull the air inside. So when it inside, uh, pulls it inside, the smoke is actually trapped inside and only the heat is emitted. So when it burns, you will only see the clear flames coming out uh, and uh, not the smoke. And we have this uh, protective shield uh, which will go around this just a half that I'm showing here. The, the rest of the uh, shield will actually get completed which prevents outside air disrupting the system. So when it uh, when the hot air rises, it doesn't get disturbed by other blowing air. I am. Here you can see the net that we have put there so that um, when it burns and when it becomes charcoal the the ash does not go and block the the drain pipe which we will use to drain the water once uh, once everything is completed We'll actually start burning both the kilns um, probably with another 15 probably 15 minutes apart so that uh, we will have time to stop one first and then stop the second one um, because it you will need water to stop the uh, uh, burning and as you can see that uh, we had quite a bit of rain so it's very moist as you can see here it's quite wet uh, and some of these um, uh, branches are quite wet as well but hopefully when we burn uh, it will actually evaporate the water and then start burning as well uh, which will hopefully produce uh, the charcoal As you can see, the fire is getting uh, slowly catching up. Uh, it should start uh, burning all around. Once that is, uh, once the fire is up, and uh, it should start nicely heating up the outer shell of the kiln. Once uh, we will know when it is hot and the system is working, the smoking will stop. Uh, so as you can see the fire is getting quite um, heavy now so we can actually start putting new stuff in here can you hear me like that? now you can clearly see this uh, smoke getting and going inside again into the system so it's slowly starting to work you can see the rising smoke will reduce as you can see the flames are becoming clearer
Ne? So now you see a lot of reduction in the smoke. So we can start introducing uh, more material inside. The trick is uh, to work with the smoke. So when it starts smoking, you need to put some uh, material that will catch fire quickly and dissipate heat, uh, so that the system will start uh, working again. Um, so you have to watch the smoke, and then depending on that, you can uh, put the material inside. So as you can see now that. Uh, this uh, coconut leaf start catching fire, then it will start reducing the smoke going out. Now we'll start uh, the second kiln as well. Um, theoretically, one person should be able to burn at least two. Um, if everything is cut and prepared beforehand it will be much easier so we have done that uh, but we have one extra person and uh, just to make sure that uh, this video will go smoothly Here you can now clearly see that smoke is reducing and uh, uh, the, the flames are becoming clearer. The smoke that you are actually seeing is uh, probably the steam that is coming out from this material being in the rain for actually two days. Uh, it's uh, quite heavy rain so it's uh, probably very, uh, it's uh, soaked with water. Um, so that's uh, probably why you're seeing this uh, smoke uh, a bit more. Okay, you can see that the one that we started first is actually burning quite nicely, and the second that what we started is still needs to heat up a bit so you can see the flames um, clearly in the front and the one that is smoking at the back is the second one we started which will in a few minutes should start working properly you can actually see the smoke reducing even now so once it once the heat builds up and uh, the system should start working As you can see now there's no smoke at all. Take a look inside. It's quite hot but uh, you can see it in the camera. Most of the thing that we have put it, it reduces quite a lot in weight. So it is still probably we can burn another burn it for another two hours probably. Or at least one and a half hours. Hold on. Since the flames were very clear, we can start introducing 
new material inside which will disrupt the system for a while but then then it will come under control let's check the second one it's You put that on your So you can see the first one actually smoking a bit because we just introduced um, some new material inside, and uh, since it's really wet, uh, I think a bit of heat is getting used uh, to dry the material as well. Now you can see the second one burning quite clearly. So here you see that uh, most of the stuff has burnt now. So reduced in weight and it's gone down a bit. So now we have been burning this for the past two hours and um, you can see it has taken uh, quite a lot of um, organic material in, inside uh, both have been uh, burning for almost two hours and uh, you can see the reduction in the organic material that we had at the end uh, I will put uh, two photos showing how much we have actually burnt but you can see there's a quite a lot of reduction in the volume it's a very effective way of using your garden waste and uh, making charcoal and then turning it into biochar which will be on another video which you can use it as an organic manure for your garden so here you see how we will put off the fire once it's full uh, once the burning is uh, finished uh, we have to put water the fire is not properly put off it will burn and it will make uh, all the material will become ash so we have to put the fire off uh, with water and uh, we will uh, since we have uh, the outlet at the bottom I don't know whether you can see this uh, uh, which we will use to drain the water so we let the water run in and then this kiln will be filled up to the brim So here you can see it has turned into charcoal. What did you get on so once the burning is uh, finished you can actually go through and see whether everything has become charcoal if there will be certainly some partially burnt material which we will take it out as you can see it here we burnt with the next patch
Here you can see how much material we have actually burnt. Uh, most of the oil is gone. So the weight reduction will be more than 70% when you burn it in here. For coconut shell, it's uh, there will be a 70% decrease and all the other stuff will be more than that. So that's why you see this much of organic material being burnt in this two kiln has reduced this pile to th this little here you can see the kiln filled with water uh, we will uh, leave like this for another four hours or even overnight then we will drain the water and once the water is fully drained we will collect uh, the charcoal and we will put it in another container where we will soak it with biogas sl uh, slurry uh, once it's uh, soak it in bioglass uh, uh, slurry, it will become biochar, which can be used as an organic fertilizer. I will do another video on that. Uh, the same video I will do it in Tamil as well, so that uh, we can share the knowledge locally. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, which I will try to answer. Uh, please like and uh, subscribe as well. Uh, and share it in your social media. My name is Darshan from Rivera Resort, Kaladi, Batiklo, Sri Lanka. Until I see you in the next video, thank you very much. Cheers.